Hello everyone, my name is Alex Rivera Grant and I'm here to give you my honest opinion. With the premiere release of Mulan on Disney+, Plus, I figured it was time to look back on some of Disney's live action remakes and see which hold the grand prize in my heart. I decided instead of just thinking back to when I first watched them and choosing a favorite, I was going to rewatch the five films and rank them based on visual appeal, their songs, um, changes to the original animated film and how entertained I was by the film. So, five Disney remakes later, let's get to it. So the first film that I'm going to talk about out of a total 20 possible points, I gave an 11.5. Um, it is the 2015 remake of Cinderella. So this movie was good, I'm not gonna lie. I did enjoy a lot of it. There were just parts that I just like was like kind of like eh like it was like okay I didn't love it but it was fine so for visuals I gave it a three a lot of it was kind of just forced and that's kind of boring it was like the coolest part was probably the fairy godmother part in the dress her dress was so much better 10 out of 10 that dress is way better than the original there were no songs from the original film like she kind of hummed every now and then but all the songs were gone and they kind of just played like instrumentals of them which is fine but meh so for visuals she got a three song she got a one now they did change a lot of things in this film cinderella her name is not cinderella it's ella which is closer to the original book version of cinderella which i liked um her mother and father were also portrayed for a lot longer we actually got to see her mother and not just not talk about her at all so that was a plus for me um there was also kind of like more of them being mean to ella and then the prince actually got to meet ella before the ball and he actually remembered what her face looked like which i thought was really important and also the prince was just a better character overall in the film so for that reason i gave the changes to the original story a four because they did a really good job changing it up and making it a whole new thing but as for entertainment level, I give it a 3.5. It could have been a little better. I don't know. I just like, it was okay. I loved Helena Bonham Carter. Love her. She was great as a fairy godmother. But it, all in all, it was just kind of just like, it's good. It's not great. And that's why it's in fifth place. So the next film that I decided on fourth place is the 2016 remake of the jungle book do not get me wrong i enjoyed this movie the first time i saw it i fell asleep i did not like it at all but this time when i rewatched it i was fully awake watched the whole thing i did actually really like this this movie is really really beautiful and the way they make the forest and all the animals look i really loved the way it looked that's why it got a full five points for the visuals so good job jungle book you made a truly beautiful looking movie songs i did not like the i want to be like you the song that King Louie sings. Christopher Walken, great singer, love him. That is going to give me nightmares for the rest of my life. That whole little him chasing Mowgli through the little temple. Yeah, I didn't like that. The Snake, I liked the song. It was kind of creepy and that freaked me out too, but it was good. I liked that they kept the song. And then obviously they had Bare Necessities. Songs were just like there. They were kind of just thrown in. It was more like a knot kind of musical movie so they were kind of just like mm. so they got a two from me in the song department um they did change the story a lot it's not like a kooky fun little cute movie anymore it's really serious and kind of scary at times Shere Khan is definitely a lot scarier and he looks a lot scarier and then obviously Ka the snake is huge and scary as well and then King Louie <laughs> King Louis they made huge and he's really scary and I'm gonna have nightmares about it but they did a really good job making it more serious and making it kind of more about the hero versus the villain and saving the jungle and the man cub belongs so I like that and it got a four and change in story for me and then entertainment level I really enjoyed this movie the second time watching it I noticed a lot of things I didn't notice in the first film. I really liked how it looked. I liked the character changes. I liked the panther. Bagheera is my favorite character. I love him. 
And for that reason, I gave it a four, rounding this out with a total of 15 points. So good job, Jungle Book. The next film that I have ranking in at a number three is The Lion King, which came out the same year as some of the other ones in 2019. I really, really wanted to love this movie, like, a lot, because obviously the cast is really amazing. I mean, they have Beyonce, and I am a huge Beyonce stan, so I was very excited to see the movie. Um, in terms of the visuals, I really did like it. It was pretty. I mean, the lines look cool. I really wish that they kind of made it a little cartoony because the lines didn't show a lot of expression. So I kind of missed that from the original animated film. But all in all, it still looked really cool. Like the forest part when he goes with Timon and Pumbaa was really cool. And Pride Rock looked really good as well. So they did a really good job making it look pretty. I just wish the lion's faces looked a little more expressive. Because it was kind of like the whole time. But whatever. So songs. I really like the songs. I mean, who doesn't like the Lion King songs? Lion King songs are the best. I did like Beyonce's song and the new song that Elton John wrote for the movie as well, but I really wanted He Lives in You to be in the movie and it just wasn't. They did play it at the end during the credits, which was nice, but I really wanted He Lives in You in the movie and it kind of just felt like it would have made the movie a little bit better. Spirit is a really good song and I really did like Spirit, but like, he lives in you. I'm sorry, I'm just getting depressed about it. But anyway, they got a four because the songs obviously are still good and I love the characters. Also, I almost forgot the lack of Be Prepared. Be Prepared is one of the best villain songs in the history of Disney villain songs and they canceled it. He said it in a speech. That's why they got a four too. I almost ranked it lower just for that. Because I felt betrayed. Anyways, they got a four for songs. Good job. Changes to the story. I mean, they changed some stuff. The lionesses had a lot more power. So, you know, female power. I stand. Nala had a bigger role. Which, I mean, it's Beyonce. So you're going to give her a small role. No, you're going to give her a bigger role. So I love what they did with Nala. Um, I also like what they did with Scar. You made him look a little matted, a little grizzlier. But I thought their scar was going to be more pronounced. So it was a little disappointing, but that's okay. And then also Scar had a thing for Sarabi. So that's Simba's mom, in case you don't know. But like that was kind of like good too. But like, oh no, they didn't really change much. They kind of did a few like small changes to some of the characters. And made them more realistic. But other than like changing Scar's appearance and making him have a thing with his mom and then Nala and the other lionesses they don't really do anything much to it so for that reason I only gave them a 3.5 so meh and then entertainment level it was a 4 it wasn't the best movie it could be I did think it was good but 2 hours it was very long and honestly, I was getting kind of tired when I first watched it, and I kind of got tired the second time, too. I do enjoy The Lion King. I love it. It's one of my favorite movies, but this one could have been a little better. Yeah, that's The Lion King. All right, so the next movie in the number two spot is Aladdin, which also came out in 2019. So this movie I thought was really good. I think they made a lot of changes that really helped the movie, but we're going to start with the visuals. So visually, this movie was good. I really liked the way that it looked. They made Avra so like cool and like the castle was gorgeous and her clothes were gorgeous. Everything was like looking pretty and gorgeous and amazing. And I love the Cave of Wonders, how it like wasn't all super gold like it was in the animated movie, but it looked more dangerous with all the stone. So that was really fun and I love that. So in terms of that, they got a four. Um, the songs they gave Jasmine her own song well two technically she got to sing twice I was so happy because she didn't get a song in the first movie and obviously they kept all the important songs and I don't care what anybody says 
Will Smith was a good genie and I loved his take on Friend Like Me. I was so good. I loved the rapping. I loved the dancing. You can cancel me if you want. I loved Will Smith as a genie. He's no Robin Williams, but no one was asking him to be. He made it all his own and I just loved the take on it. I loved it. So songs, you got a four, not a five, because Speechless, it was good, but it's not five worthy, you know? Changes to the story, they changed a lot, like a lot, a lot. Jasmine got a bigger role and arguably I think she became one of the best princesses in the Disney princess universe because now she's like going to be Sultan. She don't need a man to be Sultan, which gave me Mulan and like Elsa and Anna vibes and I really liked that even though Anna was a little man crazy in the beginning of Frozen, but that's okay. So I think they did a really good job with Jasmine. Jafar was a lot more evil. He didn't even try to hide that he was evil. He's like, let's go to war. Like, now, let's go. And they talked about Jasmine's mom, and he wanted to attack Jasmine's mom's home place, and I thought that was great. I love when they talk about the moms, even though they're dead, but at least they're talking about them. Um, I also thought the guards were better. I kind of liked them. They weren't just, like, comedic relief. Like, they had an actual relationship with them, and I really liked that a lot. And then... The addition of the handmaiden. I love her. I loved her so much. Dahlia, she was so great. And then she ended up, you know, spoiler. This is obviously all of this is spoilers, but she fell in love with the genie. And I loved that. I love seeing the genie like flustered over Dahlia. And that was so cute. And oh, so changes in story, they got a four for me. I really liked it. Um, but they changed Iago. And that's why I didn't give them a five, is because I really didn't like that they like shoved Iago to the side because Iago is a great character, but whatever. So they got four. Entertainment level, I gave it a four. There were parts that I didn't like. Like I didn't like the giant bird scene. I hate birds, so I really didn't like the giant bird scene. But I don't know, it's just something, like it was really, really good and I loved all the dance scenes. They made it feel like a Bollywood movie. So I really liked that. But meh, sometimes I was just like, mm. Like, this is good, but it's not, like, excellent, you know? And that's why, totaling out at 16, this is the second place movie. And finally, to round us out at the end, out of a total 20 points, this got a 16.5, and it is the 27 remake of Beauty and the Beast. So, in terms of the visuals of this movie, oh my god, stunning, like, literally stunning costumes amazing the castle with all the gold amazing that beginning dance ballroom scene where they're dancing around with their pretty dresses oh my gosh the enchantress amazing the dance scene where he lifts her up and it looks like the night sky is around them i about lost my mind it was so gorgeous I was just kept watching and thinking about how beautiful this movie was and it really was truly beautiful even the beast he was supposed to be ugly he wasn't ugly he was like not that well he was like he's not cute but like he was like he was a little cute he had nice eyes but he didn't look scary so that was okay so in terms of visuals I gave this a 4.5 because I thought it was absolutely stunning but like I didn't like a lot of the designs of the characters, like the little Miss Potts. I didn't like that it was on the side of her face. Lumiere, I miss the old Lumiere and Cogsworth, but the Plumette, which was Fifi in the original film, amazing, beautiful. They were amazing. Oh, I love it. So 4.5 for visuals. Songs. So songs, I really loved the use of opera singing. Oh gosh. It is so good. Audrey McDonald, she's amazing. Love her. She really has just made it happen. And then Nanny, McF Nanny McPhee, that's the actress who plays Nanny McPhee, in case you didn't know. She had bars. Like, she was singing. But I think they should have just used, like, actual singers for some of them. Because sometimes when Emma Watson or... <laughs> Sometimes Emma Watson would sing and the auto-tune would be really, really bad. And that's why I like was like, I don't like the way this sounds. And a lot of auto-tune was used for a lot of the songs. And that's why I was like, uh. like you could have just got a regular singer to like dub over the voice. Lots of movies do it. 
but whatever they made their choice the movie's already out so they got a four for the songs because the songs were good and i love the beast's new song wish it didn't have so much auto-tune but that's okay changes to the story they changed a lot but i don't know if it really helped the story it kind of just hindered it they changed gaston a lot he's no longer a big beefy rude guy he's kind of nicer and not as mean he's still like a jerk and a villain but like i don't know he's just not the same and he doesn't seem like he's as bad as he was in the original film so i'm like mm, was that a good change probably not also bell's father is not that crazy like he literally is an artist and he like builds these amazing little things so like i don't think they would think he was as crazy as he was in the beginning so i don't know it's each their own but i thought he literally wasn't that crazy um other than that the beast he like wore clothes all the time like fully dressed in like nice clothes and like he was real well read and stuff so like i don't know it didn't feel right that he was like a jerk because he was like sophisticated also he can read now and he's older now which i thought the reading was a nice touch because it allowed them bond and him being older just makes sense with the story other than that the family made me sad with the them forgetting their family members that made me so sad and then i wanted to find out about the beast's childhood we didn't find out about that we saw like a glimpse of his mom dying and then Belle's mom it was nice to see how her mom died but like we kind of figured anyway I, some things just should have been added and some things just should have been taken away but whatever so change in the story they got a three it was okay but entertainment level I thoroughly enjoyed this movie I think I cried like twice um one was because I was crying because it was beautiful and the other one because I was sad because there was a scene at the end where Chip almost died and if Chip had died, I'd have lost it, okay? I was in the theater. When I saw this movie in the theater, I was crying, like actually, tears running down my face, mascara everywhere, sobbing. And I just really loved this movie. I loved the take. I loved her dress, the characters. It was so good. I loved the family. Enchantress kind of sucked, but I like that she was there and she was able to like show that she could heal his wounds so all in all good movie so that's why I gave it a five for entertainment and that's why it's in the number one slot because it's number one in my heart and a reminder these are all my opinions and you can cancel me if you want that's okay I'll forgive you but yeah that's pretty much all that I had so if you're willing to pay the $30 to watch Mulan, please do and let me know how it is I will be watching it December 4th when it comes out for free but see y'all later.